because we make our living through social media. Right, right. You know, um, Undeniably. You know? Yeah. And even our teaching jobs is based off of the information that we put out. Right. Through, the, through that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, like, what would you say as far as, like, how to, you know, you know what? I'm going to take this time and for myself and... I think it's balance, like you said, because, you know, there is this inarguable, like, business side of what we do, like exactly what you said. And there is that pressure of, like, being relevant and, like, putting your stuff out there. Um, but I think it's balance. I think it's understanding, like, that taking a step back and just kind of, like, evaluating the why. It's like, well, why am I doing this? Do I need to really be posting every single day? Will that actually, you know get me to where I want to go or where I need to go uh, work-wise. And I'm sure like we feel it too, like you, you know, if you don't post for like two weeks, you're like, oh, like, wow, I haven't posted in a long time. But it's like, what were you doing during that time you weren't posting? You probably weren't posting because you were, you know, living life and creating work or being productive. So I think it's just, it's a constant like psychological battle and game, I think, that where we just have to remind ourselves um, of what it's used for, it's a tool, but our life should be lived outside of it. And then we just kind of use it to capture glimpses of what we're doing in real life, but that's not necessarily like what your life should be. I mean, that's just my suggestion in terms of maintaining that healthy balance, because then there are people who, you know, um, are fully immersed in social media because that is their career and that's totally fine and that would be a completely different question to ask them. Um, but I think for for dancers and choreographers where that's not our number one priority. Our number one priority is, is creating or dancing, right? It's not putting clips up on Instagram. So I think it's just understanding that distinction and then sticking to it in like the way that you live day to day. One, two, three, four, a five and a six, seven and eight and one and two and three, four, five, six, a seven, eight, and one, and two, three.